welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kami and this is my closet. Today I have a really quick unboxing. It was um, a spontaneous purchase and is it a handbag? Mm, not sure. You'll have to wait and see. Of course you might have seen it on my thumbnail or my little thumbnail video because I don't know how to change that or make it so I can choose what is seen when you hover over the thumbnail. Um, I'm trying to figure that one out. So if anybody knows, please comment down below and tell me how you choose, not the thumbnail still photo, but the thumbnail that when you hover over it, you know that it creates a video for like two seconds. How do you choose what to see or what not to see on that one? Anyway, we're gonna get right to it because today I really wasn't planning on doing my uh, video today. I was going to do it tomorrow, but I have something else planned for tomorrow and this came. So I am opening this right now. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I recently purchased the Coach Denim Field Tote 22 and I was not happy with the strap. So I sent it back. I love the bag. I love the pattern of the chambray with the blue denim. I loved it. And um, I just happened to come across these just while, you know, browsing as I do way too often. I have never owned a designer pair of shoes of any kind, uh, contemporary, high end. I, I don't buy uh, designer jewelry and I don't buy designer shoes because I have really bad feet. I have bunions, I have a lot of pain in my feet. Maybe it was from wearing those four inch heels back in the day, um, but I don't give up on those shoes. I still wear them and there are certain brands that work really well, but you'll never find me in a Louboutin or a Jimmy Shoe or, or, or any of those shoes because you know they're obviously not made for comfort they're just made for look and I need comfort on my feet but I also need look I need I need look I'm not giving up my heels um, but in any case so I don't want to ramble on as I usually do I just bought I wanted a pair of um well again if you guys know me you know that blue is my color and I have uh, blue sneakers. I have several blue summer sandals. They all are heels. They all are heels, wedges, heels, espadrilles. Maybe I'll show them to you one day if you're interested. Um, I didn't have one pair of blue flats or slides that you could just you know slip on real quick and run to the you know nail salon with or or the grocery store with. So. Here we are. Are we upside down? We might be upside. I never get this right. I hope we're not upside down. Anyway, again, I have very bad feet. If I buy anything online, I have to try it. There's a good shot, you know, that they're going to hurt me. Uh, not necessarily an issue with fitting. I'm always a six. I've been a six since I'm 15 years old. Uh, sometimes a six and a half because of the bunions I needed a little bit wider, but that has nothing to do with size. I need shoes that are very soft, very good pliable leather, so they mold to my wide, ugly bunion. Anyway, this is the little card that came with it. I bought these on Amazon. They have them, I'm not sure if they still do, but they have them on the coach site, maybe on the outlet or the regular site. They were, I think, 100 or something, or 95, on sale for, I think, 57. And I found them on Amazon through Zappos for 70. But wait, the coach site, you have to pay for shipping, $10. So I, I think not the coach site, then it must be the outlet. So if it's shipping and they don't fit me, and then I have to pay for return shipping, that's the extra 20 bucks I just lost. So the fact that I found them on Amazon through Zappos, we know that Zappos is legitimate and um, free shipping and I could send them back. 
They're very cute. Are they gonna fit? I have no clue. Are they gonna be comfortable? I have no clue. They didn't get such great reviews. They only got three and a half stars. People were complaining about them tearing and the rubber part tear. Anyway, let me get them out so you can see them. Look at these, look how cute they are. I don't even know what the name of them is. I'll have to put it down below or look on the box. I don't have my glasses, so look at these. How adorable. Coach slides. They're rubber and I could feel them already. They're not soft. The footbed is not soft. Let me take out the, uh, the tissue. The, um, this part, I'll tell you the strap doesn't feel as soft as the handbag material did. But it's a shoe, you know, I, I guess they have to, they have to do it a little bit differently. These are a size six. I'm always a size six, like I said, sometimes a six and a half. Um, I'm not crazy about the fact that they're white because they're gonna look like crapola probably within a week of wearing them. They're gonna look horrible. Um, but then again, because they're kind of like um, a plastic, or, or PVC, I'm not even sure what they are. They might be able to wipe clean with maybe a Mr. Clean sponge, because that works on like everything. Um, but I am gonna try them on right now. Again, um, I've never bought a pair of, oh wait, I'm not, I'm lying, I did. I bought a pair of Coach rain boots, but they worked. You know, yeah, rain boots are pretty easy to, to fit. There's not much going on with them. As long as the toe box is wide enough, I could wear pretty much any boot. Um, as long as it's, like I said, it can't be pointy. It has to be a wide toe box. Um, I'm going to move back. And uh, I'm on my laptop, so I don't have my phone. I don't film on my phone. So I'm going to, like, throw my feet up in the air so you could kind of see what they look like. Uh, forgive me if I look a little bit like... Strange. Let me throw them on my feet. Well, they definitely fit. I'm going to actually kick my foot up in the air. This is going to be weird, you know, but hey, we're all kind of weird, aren't we? This, this fits. <laughs> Kind of cute. Bottom. I'm trying to get you a, a front, a, fr <laughs> a front. It's not gonna work. The only way I can do this is if I pick up my laptop and face it down at the floor. Um, I'm afraid to try that because I'm plugged in because my laptop is so old, the battery's dead. So it has to stay plugged in. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. I gave you the best, uh, view that I can give. Let me, let me say, I don't know. Let me see if I can do something better here. My mother always told me, do not put feet, do not put shoes on the table, but I'm going to see what I can do here. All right. Can you see him? No. <laughs> Forget it. Yes. If you're new to my channel, I am not crazy. I am not losing my mind. I'm just trying to give you a really good shot of my new coach slides. So, it's not, it's not going to work, but I will tell you that they feel pretty comfortable. They don't feel tight by the toe box or, you know, whatever you want to call that strap. Um, I do feel, let me come back here. This part right here, this is the issue where I'll have, if I'm going to have an issue right here where the bunion is. This edging right here, when I'm standing in them, feels a little bit hard. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to rub, but it feels a little bit hard on the top of my toe, right above where the cuticle is. So, um, I don't know. They, again, they didn't get rave reviews. They're very cute. Um, you know, 
considering the luxury and what I spend on handbags, these are these are not expensive at all, seventy dollars. However, if I'm only going to wear them once and then throw them in the back of the closet, seventy dollars is seventy dollars. I don't like to throw away ten dollars, so um, I'm going to have to walk around my house with these. Um, I'm kind of having regrets about sending back the field tote, but it's still available and I'm not going to buy it unless I can get it on sale. I did not buy these to match. I don't, I don't like to match shoes and bags exactly because I think that's weird, but um, you know, forgive me if I'm offending anyone. I would wear blue shoes, a blue bag, um, but like I wouldn't wear a designer shoe with a denim blue, put it this way. I'm not going to wear these with my YSL, with my new YSL handbag. I wouldn't do that. It would just be weird. I just wanted something in blue and I have another pair coming from Amazon that should be here actually tomorrow. They're Clarks and they're blue and I'm hoping you know, if they fit better, if they're more comfortable, then those are the ones I'll keep and I'll send these back. The Clarks were like $58. They were on sale because Clarks are good shoes. So anyway, that was my quick unboxing for today. And I just want to do really quick jewelry of the day. Sometimes I forget to do it or sometimes I'm just wearing the same old stuff. I don't bother. Today I'm wearing you know, the same old, my blue sapphire, my wedding band and my engagement ring. Um, I didn't even put a watch on, but I wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful necklace. I'm going to bring you close. This necklace I bought in the mall. Uh, it has to be also older than 10 years. This was bought in the store Piercing Pagoda. Um, I don't know if you're in the States. You might be familiar with that store. It's always been in the malls that I've been familiar with. It's always been in the center, not one of the regular stores, but it's a, um, it's not a pop-up where it's just seasonal. It's always been there. It's called Piercing Pagoda and they sell, they sell some 14 karat gold, I believe. Um, they sell a lot of sterling silver. They also sell stainless steel. This is stainless steel and crystals or cubics. I don't remember what it is. Like I said, I have this for probably over 10 years. There is not one mark on this. It has not tarnished or lost a stone. It has about a hundred stones in it. it they're pave. I'm going to come close so you can see this. The sparkle is amazing. It's brilliant. Stainless steel and either cubics or crystals. I don't know if you guys can see how this sparkles. It's also adjustable. It's adjustable. It is, it is magnificent. This I, I know for a fact because I would never spend a hundred dollars on stainless steel. And this is also going back about 10 years ago. I would guarantee that I didn't pay more than $50 for this. I'm going to say probably I paid in the thirties, maybe forties, not a tarnish, not a missing stone. It's, it's beautiful. Let me show you guys again. Cause I, I don't know if you are able to see how these stones, how they sparkle. When you find a good deal and something's beautiful, it doesn't have to be $700. It doesn't have to be a hundred dollars. Um, but the point I'm making with this is this is some no name stainless steel. It doesn't have prongs. The back is just solid. The, the stones are not set in prongs. So they're probably glued in. Not one stone is missing. You cannot find a Chanel like that or an Hermes or a Louis piece of jewelry that's going to last you 10 years without tarnishing or missing a stone, unless it's 14 karat gold or 18 karat gold, unless it's genuine gold 
and precious or semi-precious stones, then of course it should last you forever. Um, but I'm talking about, you know, their, their metal tone, their gold tone, their silver tone, their fake pearls, their crystal stones, I don't even know what they are, in their costume jewelry that cost two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars it's not lasting you 10 years. There's no way. And if it is, let me know the piece. I'd love to hear that your high-end luxury jewelry um, that was just costume lasted 10 years without an issue. So that's my uh, video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back. Um, trying to conjure up something for tomorrow. Again, I'm back to work, so I can't do videos during the week. Um, and my computer keeps showing no connection. So the camera's working, but the computer isn't. So hopefully I can upload this, because if I can't upload it and I lose it, well, this was all a waste of time. Anyway, have a great day, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully you'll see this video sometime today. Take care.